Hi everyone, welcome back to Science Sparkles. Today, we're going to cover the most important updates on COVID-19 as we approach the end of 2024. The virus continues to evolve and there are some critical things you should know, including new vaccines and what the future might look like for COVID management. Let's jump right in. The COVID-19 pandemic has certainly changed the way we live our lives. We've all learned new terms like social distancing and variants. While we're in a much better place than we were a couple of years ago, it's still important to stay informed. COVID-19 is still circulating. It is still mutating. This means new variants are emerging. The good news is that scientists are hard at work. They are developing new vaccines to target these emerging variants. These vaccines act like an updated blueprint for your immune system. They help your body recognize and fight off the newer variants more effectively. Remember, knowledge is power. Understanding the latest developments with COVID-19 empowers us to protect ourselves, our loved ones and our communities. Let's dive into some important updates and what they mean for you. You've probably heard about the KP2 and KP3 variants of COVID-19. These are just some of the recent variants that have been circulating. They are sub-variants of the Omicron variant. They are highly contagious. They can also evade our immune defenses more easily. This can lead to breakthrough infections. Fortunately, scientists have been one step ahead. Pfizer and Moderna the makers of the original mRNA vaccines have developed new vaccines. These vaccines specifically target the KP2 and KP3 variants. Early studies are promising. They show that these new vaccines are highly effective. They can significantly reduce the risk of severe illness, hospitalization and death. You might be wondering, when should I get this updated vaccine? That's a great question. The best time to get vaccinated is before we enter the fall and winter months. This is when respiratory viruses like COVID-19 and the flu tend to spread more easily. Also, if you've recently recovered from a COVID-19 infection, you might have some protection for a short period. However, it's still a good idea to get the updated vaccine. Experts recommend waiting at least two months after your infection. This allows your immune system to fully recover and mount the strongest response to the vaccine. Now let's navigating the variant landscape. How vaccines offer continued protection. We've been hearing about variants since the beginning of the pandemic. It's natural to feel some concern about how well vaccines can protect against these constantly evolving viruses. The good news is that even if you were vaccinated a while ago, you still have a significant level of protection. The original vaccines are still effective at preventing severe disease, hospitalization and death. The updated vaccines that target KP2 and KP3 offer even stronger protection. They are designed to better match circulating variants. But as we head into the fall and winter, there's another respiratory virus we need to be mindful of, the flu. The flu virus is also constantly changing. It can cause serious complications, especially in young children, older adults, and people with weakened immune systems. The good news is you can get vaccinated against both COVID-19 and the flu. In fact, you can get both vaccines at the same time. Getting both vaccines provides the best protection for yourself and those around you. It reduces the strain on our healthcare system. The COVID-19 pandemic has taught us that viruses are constantly evolving. This means our understanding of the virus and our approach to prevention need to evolve as well. Staying informed about the latest developments is crucial. Reliable sources of information include the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, and your local health department. These organizations provide up-to-date guidance on vaccination, testing, and other preventive measures. Remember, we are all in this together. By staying informed and taking proactive steps, we can navigate the challenges of COVID-19 and protect ourselves and our communities. That's your COVID-19 update for the end of 2024. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and share it with anyone who might need this information. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, stay informed.